Hello guys, uh, welcome again. Um, at previous video, we have talking about the surfaces and walls. And uh, I do not remember do I have told about the equations of momentum to uh, improve our code uh, at this video. Oh, okay, I remember it. So, uh, in this video, we are going to talking about the momentum equation and what we are going to found and why do we aim that. So, uh, let me introduce you the end. I have written the code before I have uh, take this video. Uh, I'm just going to explain you what I have been doing uh, from the last video. So, if you wanted to, we have a couple of uh, bugs. If you wanted to solve those and contribute to this project, uh, I'm going to attach the GitHub link below. You can comment out and uh, at the end you can fork it then change the attributes and solve these bugs at the end you can send me a pull request I'll, i will review it and i'm going to merge as uh, your bug fixes are true but just for now this is the end of our project so let me introduce you and show you the ending phase and um, what do we done and what happens from now on here we go so first let's uh, open what let's open paint okay maybe you might remember from last video from our last video uh, by the way guys, I'm just trying to make best practice, but I'm not that much professional yet. Uh, so don't reference it uh, completely. So what we have to do, we have draw surface and wall line. We give some attributes of this. And I remember that we have defined a vector class to create our vectors object. To use it to uh, move our object automatically but at the previous video we do not have automatic uh, movement action so I have added but first and first let me explain you what we have done and what ne what's need to be happened when those boxes collide each other okay so Let's take two of those and let's say a capital M to define mass for this box and lower M to define mass for this box. For initial condition, I would like to say uh, velocity of this box is going to be zero. And velocity of the other box is going to be what is 100 or it depends on what you ever choose. So, no matter, we are going to talk about if these guys collide, how many times the collision between the lower massed box and um, wall, how many collisions will be occurred, okay? So, the equation says me, the momentum law says us, delta p, it needs to be zero at the end of the action. So, what does it tell us? The initial conditions gives us a momentum value, okay? So, it needs to be as same as the final condition so those are uh, equal by each other so in our first initial moment we have m value times v0 
and plus capital M times what times one and it's going to be as same as V zeros final condition final velocity and capital M's what I'm going to change it as V what final conditions as well if you expand and solve this equation you are going to get a formula which gives you the new velocity of your box okay so we can define this as what you need to get uh, self masses uh, sum of masses of each object and you are going to get uh, the mass of object you have been controlled and subtracted from the object the collide which is collided by then divide those by sum of masses then uh, at the end you need to multiple by the velocity of x your own object then you need to do what you need to sum of those objects uh, formula by this equation new velocity is going to be this so I would like to show you what we have now let us see here we go it's collides then it's continue at the end we are going to get how many times this box is collide if I change the um, mass of my box or the anything will be changed we are going to control it and what we see is pi number at the end so uh, I have watched this from number file they explain it as very well and you can watch the watch to understand the, what is the mathematics it's the behind of these action uh, you can watch the channel three blue one brown um, at the end maybe you can try to code it like us so let us try to understand what we have done so we have create uh, several objects like our boxes so each of boxes has their own attribute and has their own objects okay so for the directions which way i would like to do them move set them movement i will define a vector object okay so what is the vector object we have create a file and named it as mat from this mat file i'm going to create I'm going to collect the vector 2D class and I'm going to create a object which has attributes of X and Y values. Okay, they collect and they store X and Y instance as a value. Okay, so the for small box, I'm going to create a vector which has a X and Y value for the X value. I said that. I have one and for the others x value my velocity is going to be 50 minus 50 okay so for boxes let us see what we have for each method first and first we have attributes and our attributes takes integer type uh, most of uh, our parameters takes integer type but the end the velocity we set and we define it's going to take a vector 2d class so it's the velocity takes an object which has been creating from vector t our vector 2d class which we have done which have we have been created at our source 
uh, folder. So let us continue. We have draw function to draw our uh, boxes and we have move function to move our boxes automatically. Uh, it depends on the data time and for each data time we are going to increase our velocity respect by x and what you you might ask how can you update it so as you can see we have collide here and we use bounce and as you can remember at the beginning of our video uh, we have some equations to calculate new velocity for our boxes at the end we have calculate the new velocity to set our rects velocity attribute from where from here if collide is happens this if is going to activate then what will be happen our velocity will update okay but uh, just for the wall I do not set a rect for the wall so as you can remember at line class we have uh, defined start and stop positions and we just draw a line and this line has no understand uh, this line cannot understand if collision happens or not so what we have to solve this issue, we have the position what we have defined here, okay? So, I wrote, uh, I draw a line which is going to start at the position x40 value. So, I'm going to restrict my movement from here, okay? We just do that. If this... Uh, pixel height is going to across so we are going to change and bounce it as a one more time we are going to reflect it uh, the way as same velocity as the beginning okay so at the end if uh, this is a bug by the way uh, I have sold it by said to make this game end if the box is came across the 40 value of our screen i just like to end the game and at the end i just want to say how many collide just will happen okay just happened so mm, and there is not more for now so we have found pi 314 but let me show you what happened if mass of our small box is increased so maybe I can increase uh, our what our velocity too so let us start as you can see it's here 31 okay so let us get in those value decrease then run it as a one more time tick 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 here we go oh 351 50 what 15 315 as you can see and I would like to collide them by each other as same velocity what will be happen let's see okay okay here we go and our collision count has been decreased for now that's it guys uh, I'm going to attach all of our code uh, at the common side of YouTube so you can collect it from here uh, do not forget to subscribe um, just aim to 
make our videos uh, fully in English as much as I can talk and I can express myself. So this is the end. I hope you enjoy uh, for this video. Thank you for watching me. Uh, see you guys. Goodbye.